I cannot believe I am back at the Rachel Zoe offices in West Hollywood. I'm here with my great partner, Living Spaces, to create this unconventional workspace, and I couldn't be more thrilled to show you what I've done. A good designer is a good listener. And with this space for the Zoe Report, I listened to what Rachel really wanted. She wanted clean lines, timeless design, a space that was fluid, that she could have completely different types of moments. And that was really the launching pad for me. The great thing about Living Spaces is they have so many different pieces and so many different collections that you can really blend aesthetics to make your home feel collective. This space is all about fashion and it's past, present, and future. So I really wanted to start the narrative of this space with that. So I've done this gallery wall in the entry, which is a really great opportunity to curate art, to curate different moments that you're interested in. It's three-dimensional, it's pops of color, it's texture. A great homage to what has been some beautiful fashion icons. Rachel Zoe is all about timeless. She and she likes a lot of white and black. <laughs> so I wanted to find a way to kind of take that, twist it, and update it. So in this particular space, I've got these two great clean sofas from Living Spaces. I've done a funny, like flaccati type rug, which has an homage to a fashion jacket, and I've grounded it with this elements piece, which has a really cool vintage vibe to it. The Zoe Report is really for a girl that's interested in fashion. She's interested in texture, she's interested in mixing vintage and new and what's interesting. So I wanted the space to reflect that. When you're dealing with a large open space like this and you're creating multi-different little areas within this big space, you gotta keep the palette controlled. And I really wanted a place for your eye to land in this particular moment. So I found this really great black and white art piece. It's centered over this great day bed for living spaces. And it, I imagined, you know, two girls coming up here in a big high heel, because they're always in huge heels, and sitting down with a cup of coffee and a big laptop, taking a deep breath, looking outside, and having a really soft place to land. The four chairs around the center tables, I have to say, are one of my favorite moments. And I find it to be the most intimate way to connect. And I love this idea of doing that with these living spaces swivel chairs because you can instantly change the communication and the connection. I love these elements chairs because I love to play with the juxtaposition between masculine and feminine. These paired against the really soft, timeless lines of a clean linen sofa plays off really beautiful and it doesn't read too feminine or masculine. I think that outdoor space, no matter where you live, is such a huge commodity. And we are in the heart of West Hollywood. So to not only have outdoor space, but to have it at work is a big deal. So how do we maximize its potential? We've done these really beautiful, rustic picnic tables outside that seat a gazillion people we flanked it with these great one-of-a-kind elements chairs on the other side. That partnered with some outdoor furniture and some texture really makes this space feel lived in. I'm so excited to share with you the brand new Zoe Report space. I couldn't have done it without Living Spaces. Thank you so much. And now all that's left is to enjoy the view.